I see. Then it's more or less as I anticipated. All right. Then let me ask this. The ideas in Jury's manifesto are very similar to your own. Is there any particular reason behind this? Oh. I didn't want to say anything when I gave you the list of candidates. For fear of affecting your judgment. <laughs> but I can tell you now. Those three candidates have all studied under me in the past. It's only natural that they share some similarities with me. But Xin Wei went on to focus on his business, and Ming Guo has always been occupied with his work at the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Of all of them, Jerry was with me for the longest duration. Oh, so how did you get to know them all, Uncle Tian? Chen Wei was referred to me by an old friend. Ming Guo came to my attention in the course of my work. <laughs> As for Jerry, that <laughs> uh, was pure happenstance. We first met while fishing. Gradually, as we got to know each other, we started discussing all sorts of topics. Jury came from a poor family, and his parents died when he was very young. But he was a gifted student and a fast learner. He reminded me of a younger version of myself. So I started out giving him a few words of advice when we were out fishing and noticed how quickly he got on. Quite. And now, all of a sudden, he's grown into a mature young man. It's a joy to see. But it also gets one thinking. The young are growing up, and I am growing old. How time flies. No one can escape the cycle of life. I don't know, Uncle Tian. You still seem in pretty good shape to me. You might have another few years of work left in you. Don't you think? Oh, you. <laughs> There's really no need to console me. Having less energy than I used to isn't a, such a bad thing. It, it just means I finally have a good reason to retire and spend my days doing what old men like me should be doing. Going fishing whenever I feel like it. Sounds like you sure love fishing, Uncle Tian. Ooh, there's nothing quite like fishing to pass the time. <laughs> Ooh, and freshly caught fish? Ah, they make the most beautiful fish soup with barely any preparation required. Fresh fish soup. Mmm, sounds tasty. Doesn't it? <laughs> also, some time ago, Jury purchased a very special recipe from an old fisherman. When we've been fishing recently, Jury always brings some extra ingredients he prepared in advance. Ah, oh, the addition of these makes the soup taste even more wonderful. That flavor makes for a fond memory. But at my age, who knows how many more chances I have left to taste it again. to try it. Let's get back to the matter at hand. Uncle Tian, we've reported back. Do you have a verdict? Mm-hmm. I appointed you as the assessment officer, and I trust your judgment. Had you not asked me why Jury's ideas were so similar to mine, I was not going to mention my history with any of them. This decision must be guided by what is fair and right. Please disregard all other considerations and make your final decision only after a thorough review of each candidate's talents and capabilities. Remember, you must be thorough. Understood. Come on, let's go talk somewhere else. Bye-bye, Uncle Tian. Look after yourself. Jerry, right? His manifesto was written well, and he's the best speaker. Easy. Let's not rush. There's no time limit for this assessment. 
Huh? So, are you gonna give them more tests or something? No, nothing like that. The assessment itself is complete. But let me give you a word of advice. Things are not always as they appear. The biggest no-no in intelligence work is to only get information from the person of interest themselves. The truth is almost always hidden beneath many layers of deception. You have to get information through many different channels. For example... Wen Yuan, Shanghua. Yes? Lady Yelan, what are your orders? Ugh! Who are they? Where did they come from? Did they scare you? These two are Wen Yuan and Shanghua. They work for me. As my trusted assistants, they are always standing guard nearby. They also perform various assignments as required. Shanghua is a business expert who gets his information by trading. Wen Yuan relies on word of mouth. And there's also Wu Pei, who's not here right now. That meathead must have been out there on sea surveillance for some time now. Is he all right? I seem to remember that he can't swim. <sighs> Nothing can take that guy down. Certainly not a little wind and waves. Shenghua, visit all the commerce guilds and look into Qianwei's background. Wen Yuan, go to the Ministry of Civil Affairs and look through Mingbuo's work files. Yes, yes ma'am. Um, so what about Zhu Yi? Zhu Yi? Well, obviously, as the most promising candidate, we will be investigating him ourselves. Let's go to the docks first. Lots of people passing through there. You can find out all kinds of things. If we're looking for information, why don't we try talking to Bu Lai, the owner of Wanyu Boutique? He does business at the North Wharf. Maybe he has some news for us. Hmm. That's actually not a bad idea. Let's go and ask him. Look, your asking price for this batch is just too high. I can't buy in at this price. How am I supposed to turn a profit? Come on, hear me out. I'm telling you, this is the single best batch of Sunsetias ever. You won't find anyone who disputes that. I accidentally dropped one into a well, and even the water turned sweet. Even so... <laughs> alright, alright. I'll let you in on a little secret. The boss of Second Life also wants to buy from me, but I haven't responded yet. If you won't take him, I'll just have to partner with them instead. And neither of us wants that. <laughs> okay, well, when you put it that way, I'll accept your asking price. I'll take all your stock. Don't sell a single one to Second Life. Oh, what are you doing here? And to be clear, these Sunsetias are mine. I got to them first. Don't get any ideas. Actually, we want to ask you about a guy called Jur Yi. Have you heard of him before? Jur Yi? Yes, he's quite well known. I've heard a story about him. They say he was born into poverty. His parents died when he was young, and he was treated cruelly by the local community. One of his neighbors was terribly rude to him all the time, but Jury never retaliated. And when his neighbor went bankrupt, he even helped support the family. He returned cruelty with kindness, oh, injustice with peace offerings, a gentleman of talent and character, and... Uh, oh, how did I not notice him sooner? In fact, maybe I'm not too late. If I could hire him to be the brand ambassador for Wanyo Boutique. Oh, he sounds like a decent man. We can finally breathe a sigh of relief. Why are you asking about him anyway? Uh, you aren't a 
Looking for a brand ambassador too, are you? Well then, in that case, the higher bidder takes the... Hmm? Ah, that's Jerry right over there. Why don't we go and talk to him? Where? Where? It's him, all right. Looks like he's chatting with Lean Long. Come on, let's follow them and listen in. Try not to let him see you. We want this information to be as truthful as possible. I'll just go and fetch an employment contract. And hey, don't try and cut me out of this. Th th hey! I understand. Let's walk and talk. You're looking to buy a wineware set? Oh, now I can see that you're a connoisseur, so I won't bother trying to con you. I trust you understand our shop quite well? The truth. What's the hurry? Don't get too close, or he'll see you. <laughs> 